What is it like surfing under the Golden Gate Bridge? We're it's freaking iconic, like yeah. but also highly not recommended. Our friend got pushed off the wave. This might be the most famous spot in San Francisco, but many surfers might never get the chance to surf underneath it because this spot actually never really breaks unless there's an enormous wall. My shoes are wet, my socks are wet, my body's wet. Is wet, not in a good way. Look how y'all are built different. So basically, it's high surf, it's super stormy, but wow, that is solitude. There's a storm coming which might generate about 15 to 18 feet high surf. And this is a chance for me to cross that off my bucket list. And you are coming with me. I mean, with us. <laughs> I asked two girls I just met from the internet if they're interested in driving up together. And both of them say yes. We are going to San Francisco! We're going to attempt to surf the Golden Gate Bridge during a swell. Tomorrow is going to be huge, so we might not still be alive but we're gonna do our best we're so excited it's so pretty right now we are in Newport Beach and San Francisco is about a seven hour drive started driving at 4 a.m. from Orange County heading to the bridge we have six more hours coffee number oh, two. What? <laughs> coffee number two she's upside down at Starbucks <laughs> coffee number two coffee number two what's coffee number three <laughs> she's literally naked this is a trip where we will know if we will actually become friends or my never talk to you ever again. Fire is my dance moves. Mm. Seaweed mermaid. You shower me with compliments every day. Mm, I wouldn't buy it though. Why? You need a fluffier ball <laughs> on the top of your head. If you were a clothing brand, what clothing brand would you be? Jade, you give me Apple store vibes. <gasps> what is a clothing brand? <laughs> Jade to me is like the pinnacle of like high tech, smart. <laughs> to me, when I think of you, I think of like... You think of AI? AI. I think you'd be Aritzia. Aritzia, yeah. Aritzia has really like professional corporate clothes because you have a job. What do you say for Blaine? I think Blaine is Abercrombie & Fitch. Wow. That's, good. That's good, that is so Back good. Back then when I was in high school. Was, to be honest, I don't like Hollister because Hollister is for 14 years old and Abercrombie is for 16 years old. And wow. I do think you look more 16 than 14. <laughs> Thank I you think you look so underage much. as fuck still. <laughs> wow, that's good. Okay, now, now so Blaine, you forgot one more for C. I think C reminds me of the Bass Pro Shop. Uh, <laughs> bro, what the fuck? Fish is for compliments? It's just a bunch of moss, sea moss, fish trimming hooks, bait, fish food. Loki, your two were jokes. So we need to figure out yeah, the clothing, I got clothing brand. I literally said clothing brand. <laughs> I have to take the Aber Kambia <laughs> fish back. I have to say, she looks at hot top right now. <laughs> we literally talk about everything because we got seven hours. What? Oh wait, wait, can I ask, like, is it above 30 or below 30? Including some things that I have to keep muted. So yeah. watch to the end if you want to surf the Golden Gate Bridge. Oh my God. After this trip, we're not going to talk to each other ever. After this trip, I'm keeping all the GoPro clips to myself. That is evil. <laughs> that is like, I'm, like, that is not forgivable. Oh! Wow, I feel like I am Whoa. in the city. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. Do you know where do we serve here? After we get there, we didn't know where to serve and how to get down. So we asked a local and he was super sweet and even let one of my friends use the board. Give people a big ticket for going past the fence. So okay. you don't want to do that in front of the police. You know people that have passed away. Like there's this guy, he had a helmet and he, but he used to surf so close to the rocks. Right over on the other side and um, but yeah, so it's it's actually pretty safe though, like when um, it's dangerous everywhere else. So. <laughs> Right now we're about to go surfing. It is raining today, so we have to dress warm. The storm's coming. Hope we can get to the surf spot before the rain. Are you joking? Why? Why? Block it. Maybe Why they the block waves it? Waves are coming up over the rocks. I think so. I think it's too dangerous. No one's surfing. I don't think they're gonna allow it. The, the, the coast guard's gonna yell at us if you do go out. We're almost there. <laughs>
walk through this bridge to go to the sand part. Woo! You guys are charging. How is that scary level? One to ten. Oh my god, your legs are too short. Bye, see. Paddling against this awful rift current. Go for it. He's going for it. That's her. That's her. That's her. Yeah. Oh. She ate. The wave ate. <laughs> the wave ate. Not again. Oh my god. Yes, you got it. You got it. Oh my god, what the boat is crazy. Oh man. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god, yes, 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 yes. The guy, the guy. Oh. super strong I think I could make it but thank god like I think I was just lucky um my friend was like on thank the you. top telling me to like I get it now why some people they like jump off the rock but it's so sketchy that's why literally why you need helmet I think it's not from the surfing but from getting out oh, and getting wow. in here's why you shouldn't surf under the Golden Gate Bridge even though it might be the coolest thing I have ever done the current is strong like did you just see those men wearing helmet yes the best way to get to the lineup is by jumping off the rocks instead of paddling because I, who didn't jump off, literally thought I couldn't make it. If you take a break, like stop paddling, you would drift back to the beginning or even further. For 30 minutes straight, I was paddling for my life so I can get to the lineup because I know if I stop one moment, I might give up. Another thing is you have to walk on slippery rocks. I damaged my board a little bit by doing so because I have a long board. So if you have a short board, it's definitely a little bit easier. However, the rocks are really slippery. I have a hard time as well to even step on the rocks because it's quite slippery. And the space between rocks are very big. If you're tall, you're in luck. If you have short legs, you definitely need friends to help out. Second, this spot never breaks unless there's a huge swell coming and helping like today. There's about a 15 to 18 feet high surf. That's why this spot breaks. The place also breaks on rocks. So make sure you come here. Try to avoid high tide. <laughs> Localism is real. This comes from personal experience, so I can't really say everyone will experience the same thing. When I got there as a newcomer, the men who were sitting there already straight up told me that I shouldn't be there without me catching any waves yet. Crazy, I just caught one wave. <laughs> And definitely got pushed up by him as well from away. Not friendly at this spot, but what are you gonna do? The second time when I surfed there, the crowds were a lot more nicer, even though I still need to prove myself in the lineup. But I was lucky enough that at least when it's my turn, some people let me go. So I would say that definitely have low expectation when you come here and bring a friend. <laughs> if you ever get the chance to surf Golden Gate Bridge, comment down below what's your experience. <laughs> Wait, guys, we only hung out all three of us two times. Yeah. This is how we know if we can be friends. A road trip. I know. Because <laughs> we don't know. We don't know yet if we're still gonna be friends after this. Yeah, after this. <laughs> well, me and Blaine have a trip we're trying to do for a week and a half, so this is a good beta test. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, have you? Wait, actually, tell the vlog. Have you guys ever any stories with a friend where after the trip you weren't friends? Yes. I did. Who? Yes. Who? Yeah. Oh, you, you, I'll bleep it out.